All right, today we're gonna to be ranking the most rarest attribute to the least rarest attribute. Wait, scratch that. We're gonna be ranking the least rarest attribute to the most rarest attribute, cause that's how lists work. To start off with, what is the least rarest attribute a man can have? Okay, take a guess. I'm waiting. No, it's not looks, it's height. Yes, being tall is rare. Yes, that is very rare, but it's not as rare as everybody thinks. If you're a six foot five guy, but a five out of 10, your height balances you out to the same level as an above average guy who's below 5'11". Just think about, that for, think about that for a second. If you're six foot five and a five out of 10 on your face rating, you, your height balances you out with a guy who's 6 to 7 out of 10 but below 5'11". So your height really only plays an important part in balancing you out if your looks are bad. Now I'm not saying every 5 out of 10, guy, five out of 10 6 foot 5 guy is going to be a 6 to 7 out of 10 below 5'11 guy. But usually that's how it works. Except for women who are height fetishist and they just go for height. Then you're in luck and you have the rarest attribute. Not the rarest, but it's about looks if the girl is into height more than looks. And obviously if you're six foot five, nine out of 10, well, good job, you won the fucking lottery, bro. No matter what anyone says to you, looks is more rare than height. The, ge the genes, the genetics required to achieve a facial symmetry, the symmetry on your faces, is more complex than just adding a few inches in your legs. Just think about that for a second. The symmetry required for your face to look a certain way has more genes associated with it than just having a few inches added to your femur. And looks is more complex in a scientific manner than having height. So therefore, looks is more rare than height. And being good looking is more rarer naturally than being tall just because how easy it is to be born tall. All you need is your dad to be over six foot and your mom to be over five seven and voila, you're six foot five. I have friends like that. You know, their dad is six foot and their mom is five nine, five ten. Boom, they're six five, six six. Now let's discuss about the second least rarest thing that is looks, which I just introduced to you. If you're a seven out of 10 and above, you're good looking. Seven out of 10 and below, which starts from six to five, that's average. Below five is below average, and two out of three, man, fuck, you have to get rich. I'm sorry. I want to reiterate this point that looks is more rare than height. A woman, a, a average, an average woman, the general population, not height fetishists, not extremists, the average woman will always choose an eight out of 10, five, nine guy compared to a five out of 10, six foot five guy. This is how nature generally works. Facial symmetry is more important than height. Next one, money. So we have height, then it goes to looks, then it goes to money. The luck required to achieve money in today's world is, in my opinion, way more difficult, way more rare to just, just compared to just being handed the genes to get look good or the genes to be tall. You have to not only be smart, intelligence, be in the right place at the right time to acquire the right assets, to talk to the right people. It's just so much, it's just so many things factoring in that genes are out by the luck required to actually be rich and successful. Even if the genes are more rare than money, the genes that you get for your looks and heights, if they're even more rare than actually acquiring money, I actually don't think people have the discipline, which is also a genetic component. So I guess genes do matter. It's just what kind of genes you get. Looks, heights, being smart, being financially successful. Genetics is everywhere, but the genes required to actually acquire money is way more rare than the genes you get for being tall or look good, look good looking. And finally, the most important attribute a man can have. This is the ticket that you put on the table and the bitch will jump on your dick. Do you know what that is? It's clout. Clout. Fame, that's the most important and the most rarest attribute a man can have. It's rarer than money, it's rarer than looks, and it's definitely rarer than height. Now, I'm gonna be put a disclaimer. 
being famous is different from being infamous, all right? Infamous, you can be infamous for anything very easily, but that's like a one-time one time hit, one hit wonder, and that's it. Being famous, that's what I'm talking about. Being actually heavily clouded. Heavily clouded is way more rare than anything you ever come across. That is why these ugly ass rappers, you see those rappers, these ugly ass rappers, yes, they do have money, actually, from the videos that I've seen on YouTube, they most of them don't have any money. They're renting out their cars, they're renting out their jewels, so they actually don't even have money, but they have the most important attribute, the cloud. So all the bitches are in their direction because of the cloud. There are way more cloud chasing bitches compared to gold diggers. Yes, gold diggers, they see their man, they're like, yeah, I can have a private jet. Yeah, I can have a Lamborghini. But the cloud chasing bitches, they see their man, they're like, fuck, I can go famous if I date this guy. I can become famous if I just hook up with this guy. Maybe, just maybe, if I go to this guy, I can achieve the same level of fame. Bitches want to be famous. Yes, bitches want money too for their luxuries, but every bitch wants to be famous on this planet. And there you go, that's the iceberg tier list of attributes of a high value male. Starts from height, least rarest, looks, second least rarest, third money, and the first one clout. So if you want to get a bitch, obtain all five. Uh, break your legs, get your le limbs lengthened. You get your limb lengthening surgery, uh, do plastic surgery, acquire the face, get money, and then get heavily clouded. There you go. That's what you need to get a bitch in a modern world. The standards you need to achieve to get a girl in a modern world is all that. So get that and we are good.